Shalom, shalom, family. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Harvest Man. And I'm praying for all and hoping all is well and that we're staying prayed up for the entire world now. So much is moving and things are moving fast, saith Yahshua. All right, let's say a quick prayer because there's a lot. If I can't finish it all, I'll have a part two. Um, and I just want to start with um, a little prayer. Father, we come to you as humble as we know how to say thank you. Thank you for blessing us, keeping us, and watching over us. Thank you for who you are in our life, Father. Thank you for the walk and for the insight of things, Father. We bless you. We are asking you to bless us back, Father. We sanctify your word and that your word will go out and touch many lives, hearts, minds, and soul. And let it land on good, solid ground. For we know that you are a man of your word, a spirit of of, um, of humbleness to um, reach out and grab the lost, regardless of the sin that's in people's lives. And that you are the one that can only change things. We thank you. We bless you. And we want to glorify you for this divine word and for your move and that you're about to move on all. We thank you. We praise you, Father. In the name of Yahshua, hallelujah. Thank you. Okay, family. So it's a good little bit. So I'm going to be talking about a little here and a little there. So, But I do want to start with completing what he had given me um, on last week. I think it was last Thursday or Friday I had did an and upload on a video about um, Carrie Ann. And in my prayer time on the 10th, which was, I think was the following day. I think that's when it was. It was like 2.50 in the afternoon and I was in my prayer time. This is something quick that he just gave me that he did want to me to share with you guys. He said, tell them I have my prophets. I correct them, no one else. He said, trouble lane or trouble lanes. He said, to stand in my way. He said, step out and pray. He said, too many naysayers about my words and my messages. Messages. He said, Carrie Ann is perfect, but with some mistakes. He said, don't worry. I have my own. He said, stop judging her. Let her love work for me. Again, he said, let her love work work for me he said time ain't long family my family pray for the lost souls he said things will get rough and they can't stand the trials of what is coming he said we march soon i love my children and then he said all on board so like i said like last week we have to allow the most high he chastises those who he, me and anybody else. He blesses those who works for him. He leading God, all of us. So we are not supposed to be really reaching out and with our mouths and videos and different things, putting out their bad messages on people because just what you put out can return right back to your front door. So let us just get, you know, in right standings ask the most how to forgive us for what we've done sometimes we do things and say things and we don't even know what's offending him so we got to be a little bit more in tune including myself because sometimes you know i'm be i'll be about no nonsense i try to just be nice to everybody but when i need to put my foot down i will so and even with that you know i'm sure he he has told me no you know no no so when he says no then i listen to him i don't ignore it so anyway, family, to all who has, you know, said a lot of negative things, just repent and get back on the track. And like he said, stay in your lane because you're in a trouble lane when you're doing that toward his people that he has working for him. Because he had told me that it's a hard job and I can't remember where I wrote it, but I remember he told me here recently that the prophets have a hard job um, to do for him. If you go back and um, read Jeremiah, you see how difficult it was for Jeremiah and for Daniel. So just, you know, stay in our lane and stay focused on the most high. So here's a, some messages I want to share on like 314. He said, um, I will move like a mountain 
and like a lion of Judah. He said, to free my people, nothing can stop me and nothing can stop us. He said, we move soon. He said, death come upon those who are wicked. He said, Putin will move fast. Then China will step in to the play. So that was on the 14th. Um, and then I want to go back a little further. Let's see. On the March 5th, he said um, that he had much, that he has much love for all his all my family. He said he told me he said that tomorrow starts a new day. Now this is on March 5th, a new a new day and a new time, and he said they will start to move um, into more fear mongering for more of the people. Um, and he told me to tell you to ignore them. Um, he said set fear aside he said i have my own chosen ones protected he said time is winding up to move out just a few things um daughter he said before we transition into a new era of land he said africa is a stopping place together then we move to the promised land he said i gave unto abraham daughter he said tell my people to be prepared to build our nation full of honey and rivers and trees and land endlessly and then um on the eighth he said march 8 2023 he said tell them many miracles ahead amidst the storms he said explain the harvest season and um when i looked it up online it says the harvest is the gathering of crops and then i read another one it says that it's a season when things are ripened the crops are ripened and they are gathered okay so seem like to me it's going to be more than one gathering okay many will rise all over the world he said wait and see he said many have anointing hands since birth and now it's time and he said focus on me not them so as you see god's um miracles and healings and different things that his chosen people um have been anointed to do even though they're doing it he's still saying focus on him he said that because it's his powers that's going to be moving he's using his people his chosen he said and he said that his power is going to move like lightning and then he said soon to see he said, more storms are on the way. He said, they are preparing to impress me. And you know who they are, right? So they're going to be doing things to try to impress him. <laughs> he said, but they don't. And he said, my anger is at the top. He said, hi, and I will address them as I please. He said, so stay focused on my teachers. Ignore the rest. He said, I have prepared many. And he said, some are leaders. Let me take a drink, family. My throat is getting dry. Excuse me. And he said, some, some are leaders. So these people are going to, some of them are teachers. And they are already out on YouTube and different places. They are already teaching. But he said, some of them are leaders and will, um, had some the marches he said along with my chosen vessel he said there is one who will head all he said remember we are one unit he said worldwide and then he said one i've spoken this before that he's given me about we need to be as one and be in one unit he said time to focus on unity this is what he said and we have got to pay attention to it and i know a lot of um I see a lot of love sometimes when I go into the stores and our people are you know, like reaching out to one another now. And that is such a beautiful thing. But we have got to get still on some of the laws. They so, Some people are so selfish. Oh, my gosh. Self-centered, narcissism, all of the above. This is what he said. He said, stop backbiting, lying and cheating. He said, sins will keep you left behind. He said, repent. And walk right. He said, love thy neighbor. It conquers all things. And it does turn things around, family. 
it does turn things around. So that was for that. I got another one that I want to kind of go over. This may take a little bit of time. So if I run out, I will have to start it back up for a second one. So I'm going to read. I'm going to start out reading Psalms 11. He gave me this today. He said, In Yahshua, I put my trust. How say ye to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain. For lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. And that means they are ready. Just like he said, what's coming. So let me read on. That was a 14. Let's just go over this right here. You know when he said that Putin is ready and China's going to step in into the play. I feel in my heart when he gave me that scripture that this is what he's talking about. And he's telling his people over and over to leave for those who can't afford to leave if not the angels will come and guide the leaders and his vessel his chosen vessel to move people out of the bab country so i want to start with this right here somebody had asked about what to take i'm going to say this because everybody needs a different i'm going to say look at a list of camping things what people you use when they're going on a, on a camp for a while and they're going camping. What do you have need of? You know, from light rain gear to cool weather and any type of sentimental something that maybe your family have, pictures or whatever that, you know, you want to take along. Because he keeps telling me, he's told me more than once, we will not return. So whatever's left is left. Because I inquired about my insurances. And he told me not to worry about it. I'm not telling you that. I'm just telling you what he told me. But anyone else, I would say take that to him in prayer. Because that was a, a you know something that I asked him about because I have more than one policy and more than one, you know, insurance that um I want to know do I keep paying on this? Do I keep what to do he said this is what he said when i asked about it he said you are not going to need it we will be gone i said okay okay so let's see I'm not sure i gave the one on the fifth but then i turn it and see <sighs> Okay, this is one that I did miss before we get into the other things. Um, on March the 5th, 2023, he says, Storms rise and they go and they, they'll leave. He said, but my love is endless for my people. So he said, and as the storms are going and coming and going and coming, he said, my love is not like that. He said, my love is, is endless for his people family we got to get that down in our heart regardless of what happens his love is endless he said tell them prepare for the worst but they will make it if they faint not he said hold on to my hand and don't let go and then he said angels surround you like none other he said they are here to raise up my chosen ones many will be stepping out this season for my work to start he said harvest time is here again he said be blessed my children this round he said they will see my moves with my chosen ones he said much miracles coming he said pray you are in the mix he said sin not my children he said walk close to me he said i love my children 
My final round will be horrible. He said, many not prepared or ready. Many don't believe I'm on my way soon. And then he said, sooner than many think. He said, prepare your hearts and minds, souls. I am coming. Ask me for all things I will reveal to you. He said, tell them I love them. So prepare. And these messages I'm giving you, I'm going to say it just like he said. Ask, go to him and ask him, are these messages from him? Or am I just stepping in, just talking? Um, remember, you know, we got to stay away from bashing our messengers, God's messengers and prophets and prophetess and seers. We have to make sure and know that Putin's going to move fast. China coming in after right play into it. He said the time is winding up. He said that um, we need to leave the bad culture for those who can't afford to do it. It's time to gather things and go now. He said um, they will. This is what I want to share. He said there's going to be a meeting because um, it's time is short and it's time to connect and to plan. Okay, family, I want to talk about the meeting, but I want to like um, separate that from this video. So I'm going to end this here. Um, after I read this last um, message that he gave me on 3-6. And then we'll talk about that little part that he gave me about the meeting and stuff. Because I have got to find it. I have it here, but I just got to go through and find it out and pull it out. Um, on 3-6, he said, I will take more cities down, my daughter. He said, they are Nephilims and their hearts does not cry. He said, evil inside. He said, pray for the world. For they are, they are everywhere. He said, I'm coming soon to heal the sick, raise the dead. He said, for sure, I love thee. He said, soon, daughter. So, family, take this to him in, in prayer. And please, um, you know, pray on it. For anything I've said, you can go back and um, share this video and the next one with um, like-minded people. Because truly... You know, people come on and um, they'll start. I'm like this, though. <laughs> and I guess I'm no nonsense. I just ignore people. So they can come on and say all kind of things or whatever. I just keep going by you. I don't care. I don't got to that age where it's nothing. I don't care what you say. Because um, I know your tongue can say much. But the, but the real tongue, the real spirit, the real word comes from the Father above. And I just move you to the side. Because to me... You have to answer to the most high. That's why I say I just ignore it. Let it roll off my shoulder. If it's something that I need to address or I feel like I may need to address that maybe I could um, change your heart or whatever. If I feel it in my spirit, then I'm going to answer back and try to, you know, answer a great or an intelligent in a, a way that I can maybe reach their heart and minds. And then there are times that even when you do that, still you get a lot of naysayers that, oh, it's not this, oh, it's not that. Because I have them in my family. I got quite a few Jehovah Witness in my family. And then I have a real close, close sibling that is like concrete. So, you know, he's difficult. And, you know, only thing I can do is pray because I've done enough. I'm not going to keep talking over and over and over because i'm exhausted at this point and um, i'm sure a lot of you guys have gone through the same thing i'm going through with my family but we just stay prayed up believe in him who um who has sent us to do this and um just continue to pray stay focused and, and walk in his commandments because god is getting ready to do something magnificent family oh my god magnificent and he's using his um chosen vessels and people that he um his chosen ones and then he has a chosen vessel that he's gonna be moving out so just hold on and just stay focused on things love you much coming back with the second one behind this one